Special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond and supporting the channel. They are Sam Medina, Matthew All, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, I Am Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Killer Button 264, Justin Rice, MD640, Petri, Kono76, Ozzy Pozzy, Balalco, Jelly Beams, UK's Reaper, Craven, Zareel, Fierce, Shamsi, Nathan of the Autogasms, Unakin, and Amy. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Rebirth Mod. What the hell? Okay, the Vulture is attacking me. I was about to say, I hear something. Uh, but yeah, uh, welcome back to Rebirth Mod. We are gonna keep on working on the Horde base of here. I want this to be done. Oopsie. I want this to be done by the next Horde Night, uh, because I was actually thinking Day 84 would be our very first Horde Night in this place, but unfortunately it wasn't done yet. And now that we know what we know about steel and concrete, we'll be definitely tweaking it a little bit further. Come on, come on, come on. Also, we need to make sure we upgrade all of the poles of here. This place is taking way too much damage. Hello? Man, this axe is awesome. Oh, I should probably use the axe more. I used the gun last episode to get my machine gun higher. But if you use the axe, you can make the axe even more powerful. So then I'll, at this stage, I won't even have to do power attacks against the bosses and stuff anymore. I can just spam left clicks. See, that dude coming in from so far is supposed to be rebirth uh, Feral Sense. But Feral Sense has been turned off, so that is bizarre. Okay, but yeah, as you guys can see, this place is falling apart over here. I uh, don't even know where this came from, this damage. But we have to make sure all of these pillars are at least concrete or steel. Uh, because basically we're more interested, more worried about the physical damage. Oh, that's what we can actually use the steel for. As you, uh, some of you are aware, uh, last episode I read one of Ramsey's comments. Saying that against explosions, obviously explosion resistant concrete is better against explosions. But even cop vomit. Because the vomit eats the steel like acid. So the concrete is overall a better uh, choice when it comes to vomit. But... Since most of the zombies and uh, bandits and stuff are actually hitting these blocks, steel's gonna be the best option over here. Okie dokie, so, uh, follow me. Follow me. I need to make sure all of these actually have their um, spawn points. So I'm gonna do this. If anything happens, respawn here. If anything happens, respawn here. We wanna make sure, guys, we lost one Maverick because it seems I forgot to tell him where to spawn. Although I could have sworn I, did, I actually did tell him where to spawn. Uh, cash. We didn't really get that much cash during Horde Night. Even though I said, oh wow, we have to go for these things to be get more cash. Huh. I might have actually... Well, no. I did drop a ton of stuff on the... Where did you come from? I did get a ton of stuff um, from... No, I did put a ton of stuff on the drone of here. Yeah, there's more cash. But not enough. Uh, not enough. I really thought that we were going to get way, 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 way more cash than this. Can I stand on your heads? Nope. Unfortunately not. You can get in my way, but I can't stand here. It's set gathering point for Jameson. Oh, that's a little bit late. Oh, some of the cash actually already went into the boxes of here. Uh, wait, where did I put the trader box? Am I just blind right now? Trader. Yeah, look at the cash we have right now. Noise. Uh, yeah, I need to go and take... No, we can sell this. We're not going to use that one. I should probably just please sell everything we're not going to be using. Put away what we uh, don't need right now. I'm thinking of keeping the 9mm uh, gun and the, the machine gun on me. Technically, the machine gun we should probably just put away for Horde Knights. Because these are my main weapon. Although, I want to get it up as high as possible. If we look at the soldier class over here, our machine guns is at 40%. So, I need to use the machine gun more. I need to use the 7.62 more. But at the moment, I'm, oh, I want to save it for Horde Knights. But if I save it for Horde Knights, we're never going to get this done. Preserve your weapon, reload faster, penetrate armor more. See, the higher you go with these skills, the more damage you do. So even with the axes, if I can level up the axes even further, we'll be able to go and do more damage against zombies. So it's ideal to go over here. And because I think this one's close, yeah, this one's closer basically. This still has to become level 6 and then level 7. This one's close to level 7. So as soon as this reaches level 7, all XP gathered by axes, instead of going into axes, goes into the uh, soldier first. The soldier has to unlock level 8 and then you can go for axes level 8. So I think if you see any wandering wards and stuff, we have to try and use the axes as much as possible. It's not always going to be possible. As you guys know, some of these zombies are powerful. So like with the vents and stuff, I'll still shoot them up. But yeah, we just have to see what's going to be the best uh, option for us right now. I'm also thinking of leaving this gun. Although, I wonder if I... This is a heavy pistol .44, but it only has a few shots. Nine shots. See, if I want to save ammo... Uh, damn it! <laughs> We could sell even 9 more ammo perhaps for Horde Knight, but it's also a nice damage per second. I don't want to have too many guns on me. That's going to just cause problems later. So if I were to go, we have these tools, my axe. Oh, I put the axe away, unfortunately. 
Steel axe, modified. This is mine, right? Yeah. Okay, so we have all our tools. We have our weapons. This one is for when we're in a pinch. This one's for when we're in a pinch. And then this over here we'll use like so. So we'll use three guns. We'll keep three types of ammo on us. Um, I should probably just use normal 762 instead of this, but I'll keep one stack of this on me just in case. Just to save some ammo for Ordnite, because I don't want to use up all the fancy ammo. That already has 2,000. Okay, so now we just make sure all these guns are reloaded. And then we'll be able to go from there. Reloaded, reloaded. The rest of the ammo we'll put over here. So basically, we just make sure it's a full stack. Then the rest goes over there. And then full stack of ammo, full stack of ammo. Boom. The only problem is I should probably take a few pieces out. Because when you're looting, if you get more of these, you want to be able to drop them faster. I wonder if I shouldn't do it this way around. I want to be able to take those in immediately. The shotgun we'll put away for now as well because we don't need that many guns on us. And then also means shotgun shells. Yeah, we don't have any shotgun shells on us. Nice. Come on, what does this do again? This radiation immunity. Oh, that reminds me. I got radiated, which means I need Prussian drink. I'll make 11 of that because, oh, yeah, we just use all the coffee. <laughs> um, I should probably make, yeah, we'll, we'll save some coffee beans. How much do you, do you need for a coffee? Four. I made one, I'll make one coffee for in case I do I need to do a ton of melee. The rest of this we'll put over here. That's a weird sound. That was really weird just now, damn. Okay, so we'll just do that. The rest of the stuff should be able to stack somewhere. And since it can't stack anymore, it means we have to go and sell a ton of stuff as well. Yeah, we have to go and... Uh, I, have to, I have to actually just quickly really go to Art Trader. I'm going to put some of this stuff away, grab uh, all of it, and then we're going to go to the trader and just sell it. At the moment, we're getting so encumbered again. It's very, very, very hard to actually get stuff done right now. Do we have anything that does better barter? Ooh, I should have had this on me during Horde Night. Uh, range weapons, magazine size 50%, and reload speed. No sound over trash. That's nice for stealth. But first things first, I need to make sure that we actually make this Prussian stuff. It's going to kill my infection over here. Okay, so let me just put everything away and I'll get you guys back in a sec. Okay, so I've grabbed most of the stuff. Put some of the stuff on my drone as well. Uh, I think there's more armor pieces and stuff over here. Basically, we just need one of each piece. It's like a collector's item. The rest of the stuff, we can actually go and sell the other traders. But first... Let's just see how much cash we're going to get from this. If we get enough cash, we can actually go to the other traders as well. And then, yeah, like I said, we have to buy all of the explosion. No, the fire resistant stuff for these guys. Um, I think it's going to cost 25k. How much did it cost me again to be able to get like the full explosion and fire resist? If we can work that out, I think if I'm not mistaken, it was like 8k or something per piece. That's about 50k. I need about 200k uh, coins to be able to get all my dudes fire and uh, shock resist. I think that was the price. Hey, it's been so long I can't business. remember. Okay, there's nothing over here that's going to help with selling stuff. Let's see. Do you have anything for me? Food. No. Okay, so we'll just sell stuff as is. I don't think I have anything on me at the moment that's going to help with a better border, unfortunately. But that's fine. Okay, so now we just sort and we go. I need to make sure I don't accidentally sell something that's mine. I still have a ton of stuff on me that I actually need to keep. Yeah, all the mods sell separately. Food will keep. These glasses are spare glasses. Uh, this over here will sell because our intelligence is already maxed out. I don't think you can actually go and give it to other stuff. Uh, like, I convert it to other shots and stuff. So, unfortunately, that is just useless for us at the moment. Okay, doesn't want that. Might need some more gold. Look at that. Boom. Okay. Uh, most of our stuff is actually on the drone. The important stuff. Guns and more loot. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Technically, we have sold mo mostly everything. If I actually had some uh, stuff that helps you with the selling of food or selling of stuff, I think it's um, a special food that you have to make to be able to do it. If I could sell it for more, we can actually try and see if we can't go to Lorenzo and just buy all the stuff we need for them right now. Doesn't need. Doesn't need. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I think that's it, right? That's my sniper gun. I have to keep that one. I need the 762. That's why I don't mind having it on me at the moment. Oh, I need to see. Where did I put all the other 762 well, rounds? They didn't go all in this something. one, did they? Yeah, I think I dropped the other 762. I want to use the normal ones first. Although those can be put over into other stuff as well. Okay, so we're going to have to go like this and just make sure they don't have anything funny in their inventories. Like this dude has some ammo for some reason. 
None of them have healing, unfortunately, so that's a big problem for us at the moment. But if I can at least give them fire protection, that's already going to be a massive, massive, massive bonus. Okay, and you repair, you need a vehicle repair kit, if I'm not mistaken. Guys, we're so close to level 75. The moment we get to level 75, we'll be able to go and get that contract for the mercenaries, level 5. I think that's the max level, if I'm not mistaken, level 5 mercenary contract. I also want to see how far all of the building stuffs over here is. That's not going to break because it's part of the trader. I need to repair all of these over here, the poles. My base can cave in at any time because it's actually been, uh, it's really that bad. Okay, we'll do that. I'm never using the, I, I don't use the panthers anymore for some reason. I used to use them all the time, but I don't use them at all anymore. Okay, do that, do that. Most of it went to stuff that I have to be. Okay, so we have a hundred, no, 50, just under a hundred. We have 81. 81,000 cash. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm counting over here. Yeah, it shows over there. That's so dumb. Okay, so we have to see if we can't uh, get some more stuff to sell. See, we don't need uh, dual stuff. Uh, when we go to the other trade to Lorenzo now, we can actually sell some of the st uh, stuff to him. So it just helps us keep, uh, keep our inventory as clear as possible. Treasure Hunter. Treasure Hunter. Treasure Hunter. Last time I thought I was out of Treasure Hunter, but I didn't realize that it was actually dark and not green. That's why I thought I was out. I was looking at all the green ones. Okay, and the armor, once again, we just go and we grab all the pieces. Uh, before we do that, we're going to do this. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we're going to grab some steel. There's no iron armor over here, right? Yeah, there is, but we're not going to sell that. That's one piece each. So we're going to go to Lorenzo. We might actually pass a trade or two, so we'll take more of these. But now we'll just go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Okay, this one's just one left. One, two, three. One, two, and three. There's two of that one left. One, two, three, and one. Okay. So basically now we have three of each item. The rest of the stuff over here, I, like I said, I only need one of each item. Some of these will be able to sell to other traders, but for now that should do the trick. Uh, when it comes to weapons, was I still crafting some? Yeah, I was. 603, 603. Ooh, the scar will actually sells for a lot. So if I can sell the scar, I can actually, yeah, I need to uh, make more of that and go to each trade every time and sell that one. Can I make more? Scar, scar, scar. I wonder how much this one sells for. 800, okay, so, so this one and the scar sells for a lot. This one, there, it is, it's not there as an option, so I think I already sold this one. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three, that's gonna fill that up. I'll just grab these for now. And sell them as well. Okay, so let's quickly go to Lorenzo. I do need to... Okay, before we go, I should probably make sure the um, explosion resistant concrete and that stuff's actually crafting. We don't have any concrete mix crafting at the moment. That is unfortunate. No cement crafting over here. Okay, we do have this. That's going to be 2 minutes 40 still. So we have a few hundred blocks of just normal concrete. See, it's, it's the explosion resistant that we need right now. And unfortunately, I don't think we have a ton of that left. Only 14. So I need to either go and mine or send my NPCs to mine or something, but I really desperately need some cash right now. Oh, this yeah, I forgot there's two of these tables. I'm out of parts. Why can't I make any? Oh, yeah, we need the screwdriver to be able to use this one to make some stuff. We can make ammo and stuff in the meantime, so that's one thing we can do. All of these are empty. I could have sworn I was making sand and stuff in some of these, or did I actually finish that up? Also, guys, apparently if I want to travel, like, really far distances, um... Well, I think we should go for that, that, and then for Lorenzo. If we want to travel really far distances, um, uh, Ramsey actually said we should actually look into buying a helicopter. But that's, <laughs> that's a little bit expensive for my taste at the moment, so we'll see. Where's that one over there? Ooh, treasure hunter glasses. Treasure hunter, before I forget. Treasure hunter, we also have to make sure we have the food on us that allows us to get more loot inside. Loot quantity, yes. Jump strength, ranged weapons. Okay. That one, and when it comes to glasses... Oh, we actually have the glass on us, right? Yeah. We were going to sell it. So if I can just use that before we go and sell it, we'll be able to get rid of the spares. Okay, I have to be careful because there are some NPCs around here. That dude looks like a friendly, at least. I could actually send him to go hunting. hunting. But you have to be careful, I just went past a, a bandit and he almost killed me. 
I mean, he did like one damage because he hit me really weird. But he could have done so much more damage if I wasn't careful just now. Oh yeah, we can do power attacks. Uh, is it worth it? As you guys can see, my stamina is barely going down at the moment. So we can actually afford to do power attacks as tools. I wonder what skill... I think it's because my strength is so high, right? Is that the reason I can do power attacks with tools without having to worry about stamina? We could just also drink Yucca Herd Fruit or Yucca Juice. And that will be able to help us one-shot these blocks. It basically increases your block damage you can do to blocks. Oh, oh wow. That was lucky. That was insanely lucky just now. I literally went exactly where I needed to be. I'm hoping nothing falls in here with me. Well, I'm not just looking. There you go. Before I loot this, make sure we put on the treasure hunter glasses. Make sure you're and then put that back it. on. Yes, another 7,000 cash. Nice. And this we can actually repair. Dragon Spear. This one over here is M11. That's a tier 3. We have a tier 4. So there's more stuff we can actually sell. But unfortunately, we don't have any more weapon repair kits. We have uh, these kinds of weapons, yeah. But when it comes to actual guns, uh, unfortunately, we don't have any repair kits left for that one. Okay, did you guys get hurt? Doesn't look like it. It seems almost like when I'm not there, they take less damage. So the further away from them I am, the better it is for them. Oh, there's an airdrop. Where's that airdrop? Over there. We could do that, get the airdrop, and then go to Lorenzo. I need to make sure we get there before nighttime, though, because the trader closes at night. And I want to be able to talk to Lorenzo and see if we can buy what I need to buy. If I can make sure my NPCs don't get set on light, that's already going to save us so many bandages. And I can finally take the water off of them as well. I mean, look how much I've been kicking butt just since I've been able to get, like, fire immunity and shock immunity. If I could just at least give them fire immunity, that would be awesome. I'm going to check, though, what's more doable. If I can... Oh, I'm going to have to go back to my base. I need the better barter glasses. And yeah, I was talking about... Uh, it's a shame we don't have any food. Wait, do we have better barter on us? Daring Adventurer. No, damn it. I was even saying at the trader, I wonder if there's anything I can carry to get more cash. Better barter. We have better barter glasses. So we're going to go for this treasure over here. We're going to go for the airdrop. Go back to the base. Grab the better barter. And then we go to Lorenzo. My head will have to go back and forth just because I missed something. I'm also going to have to make sure these guys go back... Uh, these guys. These guys go back into full control. It's nice when they are like this. They just shoot everything. They shoot zombies from a distance before I even tell them to. Full control. The zombies are way too close to me. And it actually sometimes makes me nervous. Okay, so this time around, I was a little bit unlucky. I had to dig from that side to that side, and then it shrank towards this side. Have my glasses on. Yep. Oh, no cash this time. I mean, you can't always get cash, but damn, I really hoped we could get some more. Okay, so now we just go for the drop. Charisma glasses, and... Oh, where to bother? It's technically charisma glasses. Uh, but yeah, we have to do this as far as possible, guys. It's already 4 p.m. The longer we take, the more chance it is of Lorenzo being closed by the time we get there. We're doing really well at the moment as well. So I, I, I feel like there's going to be a point where all of a sudden the zombies kick my butt again. As you guys know, because of natural selection. But yeah, being 10 out of 10. Look at the amount of uh, the, the uh, mutations the zombies can have. It's a 100% chance of having a kind of mutation. So uh, already the zombies were way too tough. Now we're starting to catch up to them again. I feel like that I'm going to do something wrong and they're going to be way too powerful for me again. <laughs> at the moment, I'm kind of lucky. I I'm doing really well. Okay, Don't do worry, this. Friend, we have the lucky little goggles on. Nice. Ooh. Um, I kind of need some of this stuff. I wonder if I shouldn't on the drone put all my cash at least. Still not enough. Um, I need all of this actually. There's nothing I can drop at the it moment. It is a pleasure to serve. It is a pleasure to serve you as well. Or no, it's a pleasure to be served. Okay, so, um, yeah, we have to go to the base quickly to grab the right glasses. It is this way. Man, it's the completely opposite direction of where we need to be. At least I can quickly stop by Greta as well and sell some stuff to her on the way. If I can sell some stuff to Greta, that's going to help us uh, get rid of a few things before we get to Lorenzo. I'm just hoping that the screamers and stuff are not here anymore. I think that one building might still be on fire. It's not a guarantee, though, so I think... It's either out and we don't have to worry, or there's still fire there and we have to worry about the screamers. 
There are some cool POIs that we can actually still use for Horde Knights if the Horde base fails. But yeah, I don't even want to think about that right now, guys. Apparently, um, other YouTubers aren't even playing survivor mode. Uh, they're not even, uh, yeah, they don't even play with like the headshot only. And they can have NPCs during Horde Night and their bases fail. Now me, I don't have the, the, the zombies during, I don't have the NPCs during Horde Night. I have headshot only, I have survivor mode. Making a Horde base that lasts during Horde Night feels like an impossible task. So I'm going to make this one, see how far we get, but I have a really bad feeling about this. Be careful every time I stop here. We have to be careful of the bandits because they don't make noise when they approach. But at least we do have our dudes over here. And we're almost level 75. Then we can get the other contract. Technically, by bu uh, buying and selling stuff, we'll be able to use this. I'm just going to keep that on me for when we level up. We can immediately read the contract. And then if we're in a pinch, we can just go and immediately call those guys. Okay. Glasses. Better border, better border. Charismatic nature. No, that's... Yeah, that's this one, right? Nope. Uh, During adventure. During adventure. Motherload. Wait, where is it? There's, there's actually one that helps with better bother as well. Did I accidentally sell it? Please don't tell me I accidentally sold those glasses. That's the whole point of coming back here, just to make sure we can actually have more. This is just to be able to hold more NPCs and stuff, those glasses. XT, cardio, treasure. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Daring adventure, charismatic nature. Damn, we needed the better bother one. It might still be in one of these boxes, like I just put it in a box of got about it, but unfortunately, we don't have time to look. That really sucks right now. That's going to cost me. I can get more cash and get a massive discount if I wear those glasses. Okay, so we're going to go to Greta first, sell some stuff, and then we're going to go to Lorenzo. We're also going to see while we're at Greta if she has the plane or not. And if she has the plane, how much it's going to cost me, because I think it's going to be way, way, way too expensive. I think I know what happened to those glasses. It was in the trader box because I was like, oh, we're going to need this when we sell stuff. And I forgot that that's not supposed to be sold. I accidentally sold it in the previous batch, I think. Unfortunately. Please don't let the zombies come inside of here. I have to keep my ears open for in case that door opens up. My NPCs can get inside, but zombies can also open up doors. So if I hear that door moving, I need to check. Oh, almost sold my steel just now. That would have been bad. Treasure Hunter, Central T, Cardio. This one we need to open up, leather bundle. Okay. Uh, sell, 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 and sell. These we can technically sell. We could have made guns out of it, but I need the cash. Okay, so, uh, drone, you have some stuff on you. I didn't even hear the door open. I mean, I think I heard it, but I was like, ah, nah, I, I, it was my imagination. And the zombie's actually inside of you. Okay, so, secret stash, motorcycle, gyrocopter, helicopter, 135,000. We have barely 105, and I need to get the protection for my dudes, unfortunately. Ooh, battery bank. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get the battery bank, though. But yeah, unfortunately, uh, it's going to be a while before we can actually afford a plane. If I was playing default, and I could kill more zombies, get more body bags, I think we'd be way, way further along. Um, like I said, it's a countless times before, guys, the headshot only really slows down progress. And you waste so much ammo because it's really hard to just get those headshots in. But if you could do body shots, that's so much uh, easier and actually get stuff done. If I could do body shots, I would have killed way more zombies. At the moment, we are on like 10,000 kills. I would have easily had 20k kills at this stage because I love killing everything. Uh, so yeah, we would have had over 20k kills already just because I could kill zombies with uh, body shots too. I have to be careful of any zombies and bandits right now. The unfortunate thing is bandits, unlike other events, don't make noise when they come. You just hear a ton of footsteps and then you realize, oh crap, you're screwed. Ooh, another treasure map. There's a bear, there's a... Why don't the animals attack each other? I've noticed that. The wild animals don't uh, deem each other a threat. I feel like the bear should attack the mountain lion because, I mean, they're, they're fighting over position. Fighting over territory. Oh, uh, I need to do this. Shift, full control. full control. Basically, I had to hold shift and the full stop just now to make sure, and then just do this. So that they go over the landmines over there. Thank you. Yeah, if only I had the right glasses right now as well. Let's see. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Fire and shock resist costs that much. He only has one set though. Um, yeah, it's 50k. 
So I can get for two, uh, two of my NPCs, I can get full protection against shock and fire. Or I can just go for normal armor, fire resistance, and I can get them all a set right now. I feel like fire and shock can be way more worth it. So I should just probably start with two of them and then move on. Look how much that is. Explosion resistant. 12k. Way more than this. I wonder if there's a way to have him reset. Like, if I were to re-log right now, would he have more stuff for me? Because I need more of these sets. I, I can't just get one set and that's it. Fires and gloves. Yeah, I'm actually going to try it. If I log out and in, will that actually reset his inventory? Because I know with Brutus, you can just say uh, restock. But I'm guessing he, you have to wait until day 86 and it's now day... And yeah, it's not that much. Just one in-game day. And recipes, we just have to make this one. And put, I think I'm going to put it on Maverick. Because I love this dude. <laughs> Maverick and then Emma. And then the others. Okay, unfortunately, we're going to need way more cash. Ooh, didn't realize that was a zombie just now. What, did you just get... Did they just come from this over here? I know usually they're part of the, uh, these bags over here, but this is a trader's place. They shouldn't be inside of here, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so, uh, yeah, guys. <laughs> it's going to take us forever. All that cash, after all that work, we only have enough to make two fires and stuff. Um, I could actually quickly try and just re-log. Let's just try this. We'll try and re-log and see if he's reset, but I doubt it. And if not, then we just have to come back the next day and I hope he has a, a full set for us again. And I'm going to have to restart the whole game quickly. Let me just pause this. Okay, so I had to restart the whole game. Just now close it down because it literally went non-responsive. When those errors pop down, it just keeps going and going. You literally have to go and close the game at the bottom of the screen. Unfortunately, I don't know what causes that. It's happened so many times in the past and every time it happens, I feel like, oh, oh it broke something. Yeah, we'll have to come back in the morning, unfortunately. See, we could just get just fire or just shock Make resist. Sure but getting them like this, the dual ones, it's just going to do more. This is what we are carrying at the moment. We made this. We put it on one of our clothing pieces. Uh, this one over here. No, this. Oh, I put it on the armor. You see, fire and shock immunity. If I could just get the, uh, get it for all my NPCs now as well, that would be amazing. I'm going to take the fog off again, individually, not because I restart the whole game, so I'm going to have to do the fog command again. And yeah, day 86, we just have to come back here in the morning quickly and see what we can do. Let's go pay a visit to Briston. It's been a while since we've been in his, uh, his place. We are level 70. Oh, 74. Hopefully on the way there, we can actually kill a zombie or two. Or get an event or something and just quickly kill those. Weather, fog, zero... I literally only need like a little bit more XP. Technically, we need a few more of those lab techs. I wonder if I get XP if I don't kill them. If my NPCs kill them, do I get any XP from that? I doubt it, right? Which makes this so much harder because the moment I jump off, they kill it. And I need the XP. I think if we can buy and sell a few things to the traders, that'll give me just the XP I need. But yeah, I want to see how many more lab techs I need. I think I still have to kill like 40 plus spiders for the one quest. Uh, for the mobility aura thing. But for the... for the uh, Hello, Rahel. But for the lab tech one, I still have to kill quite a few just to get the first level. As soon as I have all of those, I'll be able to move around so much easier. Oh, I got the XP. I think and I definitely didn't kill it just now, so yay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hello, traveler. Hello, traveler. Yeah, okay, oh yeah, um... Orga, junk turret. We still have to get a few of these schematics over here because we don't have these unlocked. But other than that, what do we need right now? Run and gun level 10. Probably not be spending cash right now, but I kind of need this stuff. We're so close to strength level 8. As soon as we... I should just go mining a little bit more, and then we can get strength level 8. And we'll be able to go level 8, level 8, level 8 of here. Mother load and minor 6, 9 is going to be the biggest one for us. Unfortunately, we have that one maxed out. This one maxed out. Yeah, this one we still have to go a full level. Uh, uh, so 7.5% and a full level before we can unlock the last one of here. Okay, so this one we need 20 more percent, then we can unlock these two. 
This one are the most important. And then we just need like 6.4% of year and we can unlock these. So I wonder, we already have one book at the base, like an empty book. Should I perhaps then go... Uh, mother load or minus 69 over here. I can make the other one at the base. I should be able to afford it, right? Let's just do that one. Mother load. That was minus 69 and mother load. And then the, uh, the XP, the, the sexual Tyrannosaurus. We can actually make that one with a free book we have at the base. Uh, if I do this, where is this going to be? Please tell me it's closer to my base. Because I read it there. Yeah, it's going to be all the way over there. I mean, let's quickly go get that treasure. More, the more cash, the better. Although, we can actually do that in the morning. Because we do have enough cash right now. I just with the XP quickly. If we can at least quickly just kill a few soldiers and stuff. And to get that XP level up, that's all I need. Hello? Knock, knock. I could have sworn there's supposed to be like a fourth soldier at the back of you or something. I also have a very bad feeling about this. I'm so close! The only reason I'm ranging and stuff right now is because my HP, look, oh, my XP. Look at the top left, guys. 74, and it shows the circle all the way around. So soon that should level me up. I just need to kill one or two more zombies. But finding that one or two zombies to kill, that's gonna I'm be a tough to one. Nice! Yes! Now we can finally read this one. Oh, Ascension. Oh no, what is it? Ascension's level based. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now we have our natural selection maxed out. Oh, hello. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get my axes up a bit. I'm just hoping my NPCs are fine. I don't end up dying. Oh, there's an infected dude in between as well. I have to be really careful. I don't want to use more crush and drink just because of those dudes. See, if I can just get the headshots in, we can kill so many zombies so fast. But I have to get those headshots in. The female zombies, it seems I can just left pick. I don't even have to do power attacks. I have to be careful for the green hands. The green hands can give us radiation, and that's what we're going to have to uh, take the Prussian drink for. It's too expensive. Way too costly. Okay, so yeah, that was fun. And I got level 5 uh, mercenaries now as well, so I'm hoping that actually took. Uh, let's go back to the base, and then just quickly make this one mod for Maverick. Okay, so we finally have the fire and shock immunity. I think I'm going to have to go mining during the night. Because we literally have zero resources over here. We need so much more stone and sand, so we're definitely going to have to go mining for that. But I'm thinking of getting some... Oh. And it's... Bandits, bandits, bandits. I'm thinking of getting myself some, um, just insert over here. That's Maverick. Uh, some yucca juice, so I can, oh, yucca, yeah, yucca, so I can just go and m uh, mine and get a ton more uh, damage done. The leader's inside over there. To the side, boys. We're able to take way more damage, I've noticed. I need to make sure that they see him as an enemy before I get even close. You guys are in hunting mode, right? Why are you not shooting this dude? To draw him to this side somehow, but he's stuck over there. If I could use Molotovs or some explosives, oh, they're actually killing him. Nice. But I don't think I'll be able to loot him, unfortunately. Yep. He's on the inside, so when I oh hello, oh no, that sucks. I just want to lose corpse quickly. Come on. Oh, but guys, we have Rahel's um, uh, actually chasing us. This is awesome. So this is a tier five mercenary group. Okay. That is awesome. We have actually the, the Rails over here. This is the like the most powerful NPC in the game. But he's not cool. These are not cool Rails, so that's a little bit different. But yeah, uh, let's just quickly see. Uh, let's get protect Emma first. So Emma, 
Um, it doesn't seem like you can actually equip her like you did with a silencer. So I wonder if the only way to do it is just by doing this. Because I know that you apparently can't... Yeah, there you go. She's fire and shock resistant now. Nice. And what's that? Did it use it up? No, it's still there. That is awesome. Okay, now she's finally protected. Now we just have to do the, all, uh, the three the others. It's going to take a while, but yeah, guys. During night time, I simply have to go mine. I might just take like a whole in-game day. Because we need a ton of stone. Uh, when it comes to making concrete, as you can see, we need stone and sand, but we have a ton of cement. So yeah, I wasted all of the stuff on cement, but I didn't really make the rest. I could send them mining, but we need the 50k to be able to get another dude some uh, protection. So for now, I'm saving that for the, for the next one. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like to share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Rebirth fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.